Uh, hello there, welcome to the Church of God Seventh Day International Federation. I want to tell you in just a few minutes a little bit about the journey from the Church of God Seventh Day International Congress, Ministerial Congress, to where we are today with the Church's International Federation. Many years ago, over three decades ago, we saw the need of the organic growth of the Church of God Seventh Day around the world. We had churches and conferences that read the same Bible. We came to the same conclusion and we looked for a church fellowship that would match the biblical merits. And so the Church of God Seventh Day spawned around the world. I'm a product of coming in contact with the Church of God Seventh Day through a very old Bible Advocate magazine. So I give credit to our American brothers for their pioneering missionary work. And so the International Ministerial Congress was formed as a congress, as a meeting point for leaders around the world of the Church of God Seventh Day to get together for fellowship. And the general objective is to work for doctrinal unity. And as the decades went by, the International Ministerial Congress became a, the international focus of the church around the world to fellowship, to work for doctrinal unity, but to also work for global evangelism and to take on other roles of which the original charter for the IMC didn't include. And um, so it came to a point that we recognised the Church of God, our part of the body of Christ, has grown. But we've never had an international or a world body of the church. Now, for many of our countries around the world, including myself, I look to the, the Denver, Colorado church as being the headquarters church. And uh, the General Conference President of the United States as being sort of the, like the de facto church parent, so to speak, or president or whatever it might be. And yet we've all grown up equally as brothers and in autonomous conferences, reading the same word and enjoying the same kind of fellowship that brought us together as we are generally identify as the Church of God's Seventh Day, coming out of the 1840s with a sense of messianic expectation and an authentic look, the Bible and the Bible alone as being our central narrative. So in 2016, when the International Ministerial Congress met in Argentina, a motion was put forward that the Church of God's Seventh Day has never really had a world church. We've had a Congress for ministers to meet, but we've never had a world body. <coughs> and because we've grown up organically, we thought to remit and address that, and a motion was passed asking for a committee to be formed to create a plan of what an international world global church would look like. And so in the, the seven years that included COVID period, a global church administrative committee was formed to create a plan of what an international church might look like with the goals and objectives of number one, of working for doctrinal unity, supporting and helping global evangelism and ministry, a strong sense of outreach, providing theological training, which was another mandate sort of by de facto given to the IMC of which we I thought, how do we do this? To provide pastoral equipping to ministry and ministry, mission support and also include literature translation and the vision that we can be stronger together than, than the small sum part of us spread across the world with poor, um, less than adequate communication. And I worked as secretary for seven years and I recognised the need for better communication and better collaboration. And so a plan was presented at the 2023 International Ministerial Congress in Port, Port Harcourt, Nigeria. And... The plan was presented to, with a complete bylaw revision. We were going to look at a complete new set of bylaws for the International Federation of the Church. But then you can't ignore our historical DNA of autonomous conferences. And with great respect for the autonomy of the church and individual conferences, we've now moved to a Church of God Seventh-day International Federation. And this federation consists of a board of seven. And the purpose and the mission of the, the federation is to continue the foundational work set up by the Ministerial Congress, which was a meeting of leaders, to be able to meet the needs of a growing church in a challenging age. There's no question about the challenge of the which, in the age in which we live and the need to work together, not just only for doctrinal unity and integrity, but for global evangelism and outreach and the desperate need of pastoral equipping and training. You know, some of our churches around the world are very well developed. They have a good board and a good ministerial council, a functioning 
theological training program, literature printing and publishing, but many of our conferences around the world don't and are hungry and are desperate to provide probably number one, good pastoral training, equipping. And it's our goal as a part of the International Federation is to be able to take up the responsibilities given to us rather than in a laissez-faire approach, let them happen in their own way and time. We're reminded of scriptures, not by power, not by might, but by my spirit. And we want to be really yielded to the work of the Holy Spirit in growing the kingdom of God under our watch. Now, there are many questions that have arisen about what's this federation? What's this world church? Um, and if you've come from a strong hierarchical controlling environment, your questions are very re legitimate. And one of the things that we've taken into account very strongly and very close to heart is the autonomous nature of our conferences. Questions have risen. Does that mean we lose sovereignty over our bylaws, our training programs, our literature production, ownership of property? Absolutely not. Local churches and conferences continue to operate as they are. But as we continue to grow, we have a world church, a Church of God's Seventh Day International Federation. And the federation means we come together and we also bring together the gifts that God has given us to work together, not for control, but for communication and collaboration. We invite your questions and your thoughts and your queries as to what this looks like and how this is going to move forward. Because if you look at the Millerite movement coming out of the 1840s and you look at the Sabbatarian communities that have spawned from that area, one of the deep regrets all of us have if we look at our history is the fragmentation of the Sabbatarian keeping churches of God. I come from that remnant where the church split and split again and broke off again. Brothers and sisters, that's not the body of Christ. We are family. And the idea of the Church of God Seventh-day International Fam Federation is to strengthen our ties. We have been given the ministry of reconciliation that God is drawing all people to himself through Jesus. We are a Christ-centered, spirit-led, Bible-based and Sabbath-celebrating church. And I want to invite you to, if, this is, if you've got any questions, if you've got any thoughts, um, please send them in to us. We need to be able to improve our capacity to communicate and collaborate. And so in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my name is John Classic. I serve on the board currently of the International Federation. And my prayer is that we can begin to move forward in the might and the power and the strength of God's spirit for his glory. May God bless and strengthen us as we work together, as we communicate openly and we collaborate for his glory. In Jesus' name, amen.